Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time Roundup where you are updated on the biggest entertainment stories around you. So do stay tuned to find out more about this, the tea that was spilled on Tea Time this week. I am Ife Omai. So Twitter basically goes off on Toke Makinwa after reports were roaming around that her Banana Island mansion had been seized by Ab Amcon. Um, obviously, people just like Bad Bele because I didn't even understand what the um, big deal was. But she cleared her name and just look out for that story. We also had a guest in the studio, Yetine Bakari, who spoke about fake life in the Nollywood industry. And she further stated that the fake life is all just a sector and not the entertainment industry in general. Do you agree to that? Do you not agree? Was she say, speaking your language? Okay, just look out for that and decide on your own. Genevieve Unaji berates Dayemi Okanlongwon for mocking the Women Supporting Women Challenge. Elsie was of the opinion that it was a bit too much and she was in her feelings. But for someone like me who is on that same wavelength, and we've heard it a lot of the times that we could be in our feelings, I had to agree with her on this one. I think with time, people are seeing where the story of the Black and White Challenge actually originated from, and you realize that it's not something to joke about. Do take a look. Twitter goes off on Tokyo Makenwa over reports that her Banana Island house has been seized by Amcon. So, um, this story, eh? It's been on social media, of course, it's trending. She's and... the number one trending topic on Twitter. Oh, she is? Okay, cool. And um, so, this is being linked back to a rumor of, um, I think it was a year ago or two years. Was it up two years? I think it's a year. Ago, is it two years ago? Going two years, mm -hmm. I think, years of um, the man that she was allegedly dating, who the children came out um, you to... You don't call his name. Um, I'm trying to remember his name now. Do you know his name? Oh, it's yes, I do, name. but I would like you to... I can't remember his name. But anyway... It starts with F. Yeah, it starts with F. F. Yes. It doesn't end with F. Like, the two, F. the two names start with F. It can't end with F. If oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. It, okay, it start, the first name is F and the last... Oh, so, so I, you know the name. Yeah, so... Oh, no, no, really? no, I... I why won't you just call the it? The point Be a baby is... Girl. Baby girl that cannot call names. Is that one a baby girl? Hey. <laughs> the no, baby girls buy houses and cars are back. The point is that she's... They're saying the house has been taken over by Amcom based on servicing of loans, mm. according to the man. And I recall, if I can recall vividly, the children came out at the time to say he was spending so much on Tokyo Makinwa okay, yeah. while he had um, loans to... Mm. Service, so I don't know. I really don't know how this is going. It I don't know own, how she's going to then, respond it was to this. Owning a bank but... at least like 500 billion, <sighs> a very popular bank. The and... power of a baby girl, darling. Anyway, she and kind of responded so to much. something what did she say? when somebody said, um, something in the ration of like, you're making this girl trend, it's fake news, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. She now replied and said. They should continue, we move, and they should put emoji, emoji, emoji. No, I emoji. think what the person was saying, because I've been through, don't worry, I'm, I'm now on Twitter streets, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the person was saying is that, why do people take so much joy in seeing somebody fall right. and that these are the same people that will still slide in your DM for giveaways and mm. things like that. And she said that we will still help them. That mm. okay, take note of these names. We won't, yeah. don't give them. And she was like, we will still help them. Mm. We move. So, from that alone, right, mm. I really can't tell the um, authenticity of the story, right? Because she hasn't come out to yeah. tell us that. Is she ever going to she come out to She seems unbothered. Okay, my point her, now, her, I think I would away from all this nature. drama and whether to Kema Kimwa, whatever, I mean, it's her life. She's an adult and she can live it the way she wants to. But my problem is if and if and if and if <laughs> this daddy is owing this amount of money, why is it that most of our billionaires are... Debtors mm. living large lives on top of loans. Mm. I mean, what is I don't understand the sense behind it. I don't understand. I know you were defending them like a few weeks ago when Who you were saying that, um, that do you know how these people service loans to maintain a life? No, them? I was, I, I was actually, thank God I brought it up then. I was telling you that this is the kind of life they live. So you need to begin to ask yourself if that is the kind of sleepless night you want to have. But apparently, okay, okay, okay I think nights. we prayed on but it and we have, said we don't want to be that type of billionaire. Because if you oh, have yeah, sleepless nights, you will not be. <laughs> this story is too heavy for the mouth. Well, I, what, what I just, I just wish to get the best of luck. Yeah. And um, whether it's true or not true, mm. I want to take it from the and, angle. Sorry, I said angle. 
Twitter is a social, 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 social media. Mm. So but then are you saying the angle where people are saying, so if this is true, why didn't you make sure that house yeah, is but in that's, your name? That's what I'm trying to, that's where I'm okay. getting at exactly. That so whether this is true <laughs> or not true, I want people to know that when you're getting a gift, mm -hmm. Always put your name on well, it. I'm not talking about too, like, the gender week, now. Right? Even if it's a woman that gives it to you, if it's a friend that but gives it to you. But how can you authorize a gift like that? And say, oh, darling, while you're at it, can you put it in my name? Like, I don't, I don't know. No, no I think it's possible. Because if, if you're having that conversation, first of all, Elsie, go and stay in this my house. That is, I've ever asked you is on what temporary? basis. Is it temporary? Is it temporary? Is it permanent? And if you say it's permanent, they please change the name. I will move in until it changes. No, what if I already had a house? I bought the house, and I want you to stay in there for as long as you want. That's as long the as you want. Yeah. That's what about offer. when I die? This man we're talking about is over <laughs> 80 years. When I die. <laughs> see, you see, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. I think the only issue here is because, is it for me, the correlation of the fact that she's kind of acted like she it's owns house, the houses. Yeah. For me, there's nothing wrong. The yeah. right, if the right person comes and gives me a house and it's not in my name, I will move in. And if I want to, I'll put it on social media and say, wow, look at my parlor, because it's my parlor and my house or whatever. But if I start, no, if it's if not I yours. Start, it, it's talking about, it is. Talking it is. about, it's a house that's been gifted to me. Talking about owning houses that are not yours or claiming, can, there's a tea of some of our, one of our oh, gosh. amazing actor. Please allow. That the house is not his own, but I'm not going to drop the tea yet. Let's just move on as we're about to end the show. Anyways, <laughs> me see, now. There's nothing wrong with you get, it. If I buy you a bottle of perfume, now, yes, I cannot right? say it's my perfume. I'm gifting that to you. And, so I can't that's, say that's perfume my perfume now. Wait, you no, cannot no. come and say you want to carry a bottle you of perfume. Get, so and if you carry like, it, so that's what I'm saying. That anything that is a gift, eh? Uh -huh. Make sure it is solely yours. Not that you will now mistakenly break that bottle now. Yeah, and I'll and come say, and tell where's you. Where's my perfume? Ah, where's my perfume? And had a point, people came at me and they were like, stop it, why are you commenting? You have a blue tea, you are a celeb. I was mm -hmm. like, so because I'm a celeb now, I should just, you know, keep quiet and... No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Mm. But I'm not just a celeb. I'm going to be just like you now. Okay, I want to talk Blood about... Blood runs in my... You want to talk about... Always. <laughs> it's like you want to take these questions from our mouth. No, it's okay. no, no, because it's really annoying mm. the way people attack Let's me. talk about social media. Hmm. and news that have come out about you on social media as well. Okay. Um, you recently granted an interview where you said that um, some of the actors <laughs> mm. enjoyed their life with borrowed cars, right? Mm. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. No, 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 no. Wait, no. LC. Wait, I know no. yesterday, too. My Hold dear on, LC. My oh, dear. No. No, no, let's get that. Let's get okay. We saw the Tokema Kenwa story and the house and all. I mean, it's... We don't know if it's confirmed or not confirmed, but it's child there, you know. <laughs> and my question now really is, based on that interview you granted and okay. what you know in the industry, okay. uh, how deep is, is it fake life I'll call it now? Yes, it's a lot. How deep is that? Very deep. Hmm. Deep enough. And you know, this fake life we're talking about is not only in the industry, mm -hmm. like entertainment industry. We have it in the banking sector, you know, all over. Mm -hmm. It's not only about because, okay, you're a bad trace or better state. Let me say, Nollywood generally. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. A lot Just of people, yes, a lot of people want to live a fake life because they want to impress someone who doesn't care. Mm. They need to know I'm doing better. Mm. They need to know I've arrived, you know. And sometimes when you tell lies like that, it's always expensive to pay. Mm. You know, you have to keep up with that lie, like, back to back, back to back. Yeah. I can't tell you I drive range now and you see me at Mafoluku. You know, She's not even cool, in a room. I like in... her. She's very real. She's <laughs> <Mafoluku. Mafoluku. laughs> in a room and parlor, you know. <laughs> Time you wrap her up and down. Mm. So when you lie like that, when you tell a lie, you have to keep up with the lie. And it's not... It's to me, I don't even like it. Okay. Just... Let people know this is you. This is me. And they will accept you if they like you. They will. If they don't, let do them go. Do people ever sit together as colleagues to have this conversation? Of course, we do all the time. And what is the outcome of such yeah, we have different upbringing. I can tell you stuff, and if you don't want to take to the advice, you mm. do whatever you want to do. I can't Should force I? you. Should we I? are grown-ups. So you, you have a strategy of mingling with your fans uh, um, by writing on 
popular blogs and all of yes. that. But we've also had an actress on sitting right where you're seated right now who said um, they actually come up with these schemes just to become relevant, to stay relevant so that people will keep. Because I don't think a year today Bakari can ever leave my head because every time I get on the blogs, I'm seeing her comment. <laughs> so even if I haven't seen your movie in a long time, I would say, ah, year today Bakari is somewhere. But some of them go the extra mile by creating false attention. Have you ever done any of those schemes to stay relevant or to make it to the media? No, never. So you've never staged any, everything no, about no, you as being no, real? No, no, no. I never did that. And I will never do that. So you think that's part of the fake life culture? To me, I don't know. I, I'm not too desperate for attention like that. Mm. So I can't even think of doing something that will affect me later in the future because I want to, you know, feel among God. I want you to know me. I want people to... No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not a party to that. Okay. The only thing I can do and I enjoy doing is commenting because, to be sincere, it has really helped me a lot. It's working. Even my business, everything. I don't need to pay for advertisement on today. To steal, you know? <laughs> you need to steal your strategy. No, no, please don't, don't do that. that. I'm only telling you because... What's I don't want to lie about it. Maybe we should be. I don't no. want to share this one with you. Maybe I'll be uh, one of the people... fans that'll be dragging you. Uh oh. A lot of so people like, pages. Guy is always yeah, there are a lot of Stop commenting. Mm. Respect your blue tick. Is uh -uh. blue tick the key to everyone? <laughs> Respect your blue tick. We need to write that down. Respect your blue tick. I'm going to use that to translate. I promise. But anyway, um, I mean, we've had you on this show. We talked okay. about your life, your yeah. being a single mom, and all that. So let's get into acting and Yetunde Bakari. So can you give us a quick monologue? Something oh. that will make someone at home shake and like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let them know I'm mm -hmm. from. Yeah. Yes. Paint, so. you know, proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, focus on your camera and do it. Ah. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. Why are you putting me on the spot? Don't worry, you're not even on the spot yet. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, no, no, you, nice. know, you know we always have calm to Calm down, calm nice. down, calm down. Calm nice. down. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Adabanko gede bikpele eyele obo. Eyele obo. Titiri lo ntiri. Okpo gba. Ni wama wo bikpe. Mi o ti le lo ye nko ton so. Be ke de ni mo lo ye o. Mo konforo se kon bi agbani. E gbono. She ha e ka wek pa yon lo ru kodani. A wi ton. O lo mo le fe me. Mi tori ha e ka we. Ti mi i ba ka we. She mi o log mo uri ni. O pe yon lo lan fa ni a ti ka we. But you de si an fani. Si gbogbo igbiyan ju pin. Se kin wa para mi ni. Hmm. Won de ma so pe ife o ti to ko mo sugbon. Amo ile ti ni kolo fin mi o. Be ni. To ba je pin tori ai kawe. Ni akan bi se ma so pe mu ni fe mi. I make back am a jaw with me a common. Kada ra u de lita se to with me a kosile on la daiba. A kombiuni. Hey, a kombiuni. You know it's that it's more for a sick or jag ba. Is that how you say one? A kombiuni or why? One if because I'm not even why. To my jaw. I can't. Claims to be woke and progressive, I still have a lot of biases. Mm. And in joke, it will seem like I didn't really think mm. about it. But if you do think about it, you realize where this thing is coming from. Um, I like that she brought out the idea of feeling really out of um, the, the crew, yeah, out of the clique. I think me as a woman, a dark-skinned woman, growing up, that's exactly how I felt. Um, is that there, there was a there was a crew that the society had kind of like made. 
And for you to get in there, you had to be really cool. And I just, I just didn't really fit into so it. So is this about dark skin now or being a woman? Both. Okay, that's like a complicated mix. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> so for me, that because that, it, it's unique. It's unique to different people. Like the reason why I'm a woman and I have issues is not the same reason why you have an issue as a woman. It's all different and tailored to each individual. So for me, I understand where she's coming from. And I think that as simple as it is, there's still a lot of meaning behind it. And I'm not, I don't think she's saying it that he's done anything offensive. But think about it. You she actually to, sounded like he has done something offensive. You use that opportunity to think about how you felt when everybody was getting tags and there was black and white pages on your timeline. As simple as it is, and like, oh, why no, why is nobody tagging me? Mm -hmm. Like banter, but she's still right. That's how a lot of women feel when they're being marginalized in different ways of their lives every single day. So yeah, so maybe we might be catching feelings, but I know I'm on that wavelength, and I have to agree 100. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of in the middle on this one because um. I get where Genevieve is coming from, totally. and I also understand where the men are also coming from. Maybe the ones that wanted to make a joke out of it, I didn't get it. But in terms of sol in terms of solidarity with women, standing with women to fight for what they are fighting for, to let you know that men are solidly behind you mm. in this fight, mm. then if that's what some men are doing this for, then I don't think Genevieve should come out and write this type of statement. So it depending on what you got from the But what, the what about vibe, this person that she replied to? What, you see this caption? what was in this caption? Oh, I wasn't tagged. I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen conversations from women also who are saying that a lot of women are joining this without knowing the reason for it. And I can say that is a whole lot of women. It's just a trend now that a lot of people are, are jumping up because they don't understand it. So would you, I mean, I, I'm not saying the men don't understand it. It's possible that they did understand why it was going on. But would you blame a man that decided to also jump on it because it's just a trend for not knowing what it is if the women that are actually also jumping on it did not understand? So I, I mean, if they put out that picture and use a very derogatory caption, then I would understand mm. the anger or where this is coming from. I get you see where... Anger? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. So if that was the case, it would uh -huh. be a different thing. But it was just... An innocent thing for me. That's how I feel. Well, for me, I just feel like um, it's 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 a two way thing. You yeah. get that's what I mean. Between I get where Genevieve is coming from. I get where some yeah. of the men are coming from. But the ones that are not actually there for support, that just want to use the Snapchat filter to look mm. like a woman and just jump on a bandwagon of a very serious issue, mm. is like somebody jumping on a rape. When people are saying, say mm. no to rape, and mm. the person is saying, say no to rape, and you're posting something else that connotes maybe yeah. rape or abuse against women, then we won't support such a post, Definitely. right? So I get where um, Genevieve is coming from. Yeah. And I respect DME for his yeah. response as well, because mm -hmm. he has responded, he apologized, and he took it down. He took down yeah, he all took the posts, and I, I really admire that about it. I mean, I honestly, and I think I have to agree as well. I like I said, I think you do things sometimes that doesn't, it can be innocent, but doesn't mean it is. Mm -hmm. um, the idea of, of of women doing this this thing because I've heard even women saying, eh, "But the people that are posting they don't really support." It's it's not the point. I, we can't you can't say that because I fight for the women gender, every single woman is good. But the point is that women support each other, and we're trying to push the narrative out with this motive. What you want to define that as is up to you. But that's what the whole um, um, thread was, and it was for women. You could see that jumping on that to then minimize the conversation and make it a jest. Eh. It's not it that is, funny to it me. It is well. We, we, we will learn. Because <laughs> 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 I don't know, well. when it comes it to really well women like, affairs, we really do not know example. how to go about it. Mm. So maybe you guys can just write us a book, you know. A manual. Uh, women want no one That manual, you won't be able to finish reading it. Can we? And let us keep reading it now, so that from from the moment you can read your nursery rhymes, you'll be reading it. I, I, wow. I think it's not even just a thing of like learning a manual. I think just being able to have an honest conversation is important. Dr. Dre answers wife's divorce petition, says there's always been a prenup. So I, I'm guessing that you can say even in the 19, even in 1996, there was a conversation about prenups and that these people were not sleeping on that. So if you're about to enter a marriage, it's good to think about it because your fave even had one 26 years ago. What's your excuse? <laughs> we also had a guest in the show, Elmina, and she spoke about self-love and she was just an, a complete fresh air, a breath, breath of fresh air if I could say so myself. Moving on, we also had domestic violence as YouTuber Dominic revealed that his baby mama has been abusing him. 
And I don't know if you see the, the picture as I leave your screen, but it was bad. If you're a man and you're in such an environment, you deserve better and you should leave. All right, cool. so um, you're doing the No Drama EP tour, yes. obviously, and this, that's why we're on this <laughs> table right now. Yes. But one thing that caught my attention is that No Drama is actually not just about love, because a lot of people listen to it and think it's about love, but mm. it's also about self-love. Huh? You yes. have to learn to love yourself yes, before yes. you can be loved by someone yes. else. So did you have an experience that made <laughs> you realize that? Um, I think it's been one of those things where I've seen friends and personally I've been in situations where oh I thought okay this is going to be the person it's going to be my boyfriend because I've actually never had a boyfriend and I'm like oh yeah this is going to be the person and then things fall through and I'm like okay maybe I need to take some time out and then you know build on my character you know everyone always says I'll take some time out and learn about myself or grow and all these things but people don't actually do it you just you you say you're doing it and then you're waiting secretly for the next person to mm. come around but i think i just had to realize that look you need to actually sit down and mm. learn who you are mm -hmm. love who you are everything about yourself and um not not wait for someone else to carry on all those baggages that mm. you may be holding on because um it there's no way the relationship can go forward you can't expect other people to solve your problems for you they can only do what they can here and there but you have to be the strongest person you can be for yourself and All not right. for anyone else. Re -re Rewind. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people thought we missed that when she said, I've never had a boyfriend. I'm sure the people <laughs> are like, we're just not listening. So what's up? Tell us about that. How come you've never had a boyfriend? Um, well, I've had flings, but I've never had a serious... Interesting. I like you. A serious... The, the way you're so there. vocal about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of I'm, I'm, one thing I've always said to myself, I want to be 100 and just be real, be truthful about everything. So, I mean, there's nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, I've had flings. I've never had a proper boyfriend that I could be like, this yeah. is what you feel, I would say, yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, well, it, and it's, it's, not, it's not a bad thing because I'm learning things about myself from each mm. situation mm. that mm. might occur. And that's perfect. Or each fine. entanglement. Uh, yes, that's the word. Entanglement. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All okay. right. So um, my favorite song is um, "Done with You," right? Really? Yeah. No. I really love that song. Mm. And um, the No Drama EP is visual EP as yes, well, right? Yes. So you have a video for everything. Yeah. What inspired that? What inspired doing the visual EP? You know, backing every song up with a video. So the whole project is a whole a little story of its own. Mm. So that's what why the whole visual EP thing came about because we're trying to tell a story of a toxic situationship um, and it's just going through and you've seen them going in and out in and out. I'm not gonna tell, tell too much of the story because I don't wanna everything isn't out yet so mm. I don't want to spoil it um, but you see the whole thing through and then the last song which is you'll never know is more about you'll never know when someone's out to love you so um, if they're not prepared for you to love them you need to step back and just focus on yourself. Right. Do you and draw that's... your inspirations all from flings, entanglements, relationships, things like that? A mix. So okay. it might be personal. Sometimes I start off with a personal story or maybe like something happened. I'm like, oh, I write that line down. And then I just carry on. You give it with, an ending. Yes, I just give it an ending <laughs> with, with a little bit of imagination. Yeah. I just give it an ending mm -hmm. because um, I can't... I. I I can't exactly say that I've gone through everything that's happened in those things. And I thank God for that because yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. So it's just one of those things where you just have to go and see what you can work with. So okay. if the pandemic didn't come, what would you have been doing right now? What was the plan? Um, I would have still been at uni. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been on some holidays, you know. I was going to have some lovely time with my family and some friends as well. So mm -hmm. that was pretty much the most plan. of the plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So for every entanglement, like you said, you discovered something, you found out something about mm. yourself. But what is one thing that has remained constant with each entanglement that you know that, Elmina, you have to work on this. This is your problem. Mm, that is, okay, one thing, I keep my wall really high. So I, I guard myself. So before anyone steps into my circle, it's like, 
you better be careful. I remember someone going up to my friend and telling her that he liked me, and she was like, you better be careful because I'm going to step on your neck if you're, not, if, 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 you're, if you're playing games with her. Like, do, you have to... And I don't think it's a bad thing. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's mm. a necessarily bad thing because I'm, I'm actually protecting myself from, you know, the other people that might come along that don't necessarily deserve to be in that situation. Mm. So, I mean... Would you be as tolerant... Or are you as tolerant because it's a woman that's doing that? I think it also goes back to the conversation that will usually come up about domestic violence when people are trying to analyze men that do it and their modus operandi. I will tell you, they actually start with the mindset. Mm. And once they can actually have your mindset in a particular place where you feel like you, you cannot live without mm. them or you need them what, or you what? love them so much mm. or you're too attached, then anything can be done to you. And you're also wondering, do I really want to leave this relationship to start all over again? So I think it's the same thing for both gender. It's just, like I said, it's sad that we don't, men don't speak up and I'm hoping that more men will speak up and mm -hmm. also be able to get up and walk out from situations like this because <laughs> that mark is serious. So. It is. Well, what, what I just want is to let a lot of people know that as men, it's okay. It's okay for you to actually speak up about this type of mm. things because a lot of men feel like, oh, the moment they say that they look weak, they look like they're not man enough and stuff. It doesn't mean everyone is human and then people look and say, oh, because she's smaller, how can she be the one to do it? But if you have... No, that picture I saw, she's bigger. Oh, she, she is. It, well, maybe the picture will <laughs> But, moving on, but if about you size. are a man and you're in an abusive relationship, like a woman, That's you have the, the right to speak. You have... It's taller. It's bigger. <laughs> you have a right to speak. You have the right to let the world know what you're going through, like every man. And then I think um, the same way we have domestic violence hotlines for women, I think that should be provided for men Of well. course. No, is the, is the, are the hotlines exclusively no, for No, for it's for anyone. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so so men. What we need to work on is our perception Towards, of when yeah. a man comes out talking about this. Just imagine this guy calling a police station in Nigeria, mm. we are still battling them women. even accepting women. women. women Do you understand? So we need they to work on that already. as well. They, to they need to train. We mm. need to train our, our first responders, whatever they are yeah. called in any sector, from the NGOs. Don't be surprised that maybe their first instinct might also be to laugh before they get themselves back and like, mm. okay, no, we're not supposed to be like this. Mm. So we need to unlearn some things. And, and, and maybe this is also a good a good well. space for men to also get up and do for themselves. Because at the end of the day, we can't all speak the same language. Mm -hmm. um, if 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 it's different for the way a man is a man is raised and his work or whatever then there should be men who can also create a, a, a safe environment for men to go to mm. maybe they don't feel comfortable with because i feel like attention sometimes needs to be specific and intentional yeah. and maybe the women women organizations can't do that because mm. the trauma is different the mm. the the approach is different and when you get there, you might just see more and women men, and you men, feel men, some men, type of way you understood yeah you need well. a place that, that feels safe that your ego isn't like and i'm sure it, i'm even sure there'll be some women in the NGO in the NGO department like you said that could even mock the situation yeah. or minimize mm -hmm. it so it would be nice if someone could could do that for men okay do you want to say one last word um, no it's fine <laughs> men just speak up okay cool and please leave um when it's life threatening i mean it doesn't even need to wait for until it's life threatening because yeah what slap i've died though but anyway that's, that's true we... actually some someone was saying that it's not enough for the guy to leave because People were like, someone was saying that if it was a woman, they'll ask you to leave. So I'm asking you to leave as well. It's like, no, it's a man. So it's not enough reason. I think it's enough reason, actually. Mm. It is enough reason. And a lot of women, I, I checked the comment section. Some women are even asking, do women abuse men? Like some It's of shocking them. to me, to be yeah, honest. Right. But I know they do. Mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. And, be, and sometimes it's not because they actually want it, because they know that they can, the get, away they can get away with it. You can't talk mm -hmm. about it. And the moment you try to retaliate, the tables yeah. will turn mm. on the guy. So. Mm. I know a friend that w was in the same situation where the guy actually, the lady used to actually abuse him. And then when he finally decided that, okay, I'm not doing it again to break up, she went on Twitter and said she was a rapist and he was an abuser. They're crazy. Wow. And this is where we wrap up, guys. If you did enjoy today's episode like I did, then don't forget you can watch the full episode of Tea Time on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also catch the Tea Time crew live on Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on DSTV channel 408 across Africa. Signing out is your favorite, Ife Omai. Adios. <laughs>